your slow WooCommerce store is costing you. Research shows that stores that load in one second have a two and a half times higher conversion rate than stores that load in five seconds. Obviously, you want your store to load as fast as possible, but the reality is WooCommerce often runs slow and is challenging to optimize. I hear complaints all the time that a WordPress site performed perfectly before installing WooCommerce, but after activating WooCommerce, the site became painfully slow. So why is this, and what's the fix? Well, WooCommerce requires more resources than a normal WordPress site for a few reasons. First, WooCommerce introduces more database queries. That basically means that every time a page loads, WordPress has to search the database for all the relevant product details and image URLs. And e-commerce sites typically have more images than a normal website. You're probably loading 10 to 20 products at a time with one to two images per product, and individual product pages may have a gallery of five to 10 images. So the short answer is that WooCommerce often drags down your site because it's more demanding. It needs more processing power to handle the database calls, and pages often take longer to load due to the number of images. So the first thing you can do to speed up your store is optimize your images. I know it's super tempting to upload that clean product photo you shot on your fancy camera straight from your SD card. But if you're uploading 5 to 10 megabyte image files with massive resolutions, this is really dragging down your site's performance. It's critical to optimize your images, and you can do this in one of two ways. You can optimize images before uploading them using appropriate export settings in Photoshop, Lightroom, or your photo editor of choice. Or you can upload the raw image files to WordPress and use a plugin like Smush. Smush takes the raw image you upload, compresses it, and saves the optimized version to your server. There's a free version of Smush that I would recommend starting out with, and I'll have it linked below. The next way to speed up your store is by using a content delivery network. If this sounds complicated, I'll simplify it for you. Typically, when you type a web address into your browser, your computer has to download the files from the geographic region where your website's server is located. Let's say the web server for my store is located in New York, but I'm in Paris. All of the images and website files have to travel through undersea infrastructure lines from New York all the way to Paris so the page can display on my device. With your typical hosting setup, websites can only be hosted on one server. But if only there were a way the biggest files like images could be duplicated on servers across the world to reach the end user faster. Well, that's exactly what a content delivery network is. Your website is still hosted on the web server in New York, but core content files like images and fonts are distributed across a global server network. That way, when I visit my store in Paris, the largest files are quickly loaded from a server in Paris, and the smaller files come directly from the web server in New York. Surprisingly, using a content delivery network is simple. You set it up once, and it takes care of all the details in the background. The most popular CDN is Cloudflare, and they have a great free plan. I have a tutorial tutorial on setting up Cloudflare that I'll have linked below. Lately, I've been migrating some of my sites to bunny.net. Their CDN isn't free, but it'll cost you the minimum amount of a dollar a month until you have a considerable amount of traffic. Bunny.net's CDN is much faster than Cloudflare's free CDN, so if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to set this up, drop a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. If setting up a CDN is a bit more than you want to deal with, I get it. You have a store to focus on. Some web hosts offer a built-in CDN. This is convenient because you don't have to do anything to set it up past flipping a switch to turn it on. And that brings me to the final and most important thing you can do to speed up WooCommerce. Upgrade your web hosting. I can't tell you how many times people have told me their WordPress site was running just fine until they installed WooCommerce, then it became painfully slow. And while optimizing your images and using a CDN are good ways to maximize performance, there's no substitute for powerful, capable web hosting. I've dealt with many problem stores over the years, and most of the time, sluggish performance is a sign of poor hosting. If you're looking for a quality web host, check out Hostinger. Hostinger has been a long time channel supporter, and they were kind enough to partner with me on this video. Hostinger has plans that are purpose-built for WooCommerce and WordPress, and they have everything I look for in a host, like automatic backups, staging environments, and 24-7 customer support. Hostinger's Lightspeed web servers are insanely fast, and when you combine that with the free Hostinger CDN, which you can enable with a few clicks, your WooCommerce store will get the speed boost it deserves. Hostinger has plans that scale as your business grows, too. Basic store 
followers can start on the business plan and you can scale to the cloud plans as traffic increases. If you're ready to make the switch, I'll have a link to Hostinger below. Right now, you can get an additional discount with my promo code CRAILERMADE. Hostinger has an automatic migration service that makes switching a breeze. You can also migrate manually using the all-in-one WP migration plugin, and I've got a full guide where I show how to migrate your site to Hostinger using both methods. Just make sure that you install and activate a WordPress maintenance mode plugin before making the switch. This will temporarily take your store offline, so you'll want to do it during off-peak hours. However, taking your store offline before migrating is highly recommended because it prevents conflicts where someone could submit a new order through your store on the old hosting right after you copy the files to the new web server, but before the traffic is pointing to the new host. If this happens, you could be in a scenario where an order was placed on your store and you didn't even realize it. I'm sure the last thing you want is for a customer to have a bad experience because they placed an order and it never showed up. So while it will take your store offline temporarily, it's worth the hassle to prevent that issue. After migrating to Hostinger, you can enable the CDN with a few clicks. Then the final step to optimizing your store is to install the Smush plugin. After installing and activating the plugin, click the Bulk Smush button. This will compress images in batches of 50, and you'll need to keep clicking the button after each batch until all the images on your site have been optimized. Going forward, new images uploaded will be optimized automatically. By making Making these three changes, your store should see a significant speed boost. If you'd like to watch the full migration tutorial, you can find that video here.